Hi, I'm Michael, an Environmental Program Specialist with Fonterra. We're here today on Nikki and Andrew Watts' farm to talk to them about their innovative nutrient management. So, let's go have a look at what they're doing. Obviously you had to make some pretty drastic changes to your farm operation a couple of years back. What were the reasons behind making those changes? We, um, we had some major animal health issues due to the grass that we were growing. Pasture regrassing wasn't really an option, so we needed to look at some alternatives and adopting the biological approach has been the answer for us. So Nikki, over the last two years you've reduced your nitrogen uh, fertiliser application from about 300 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year down to 140. Can you explain to us how you've achieved that? We've achieved that by applying a, a foliar spray with nitrogen plus a carbon source and trace minerals and some other key elements. And the key to this is applying a carbon source which the, the bugs require to um, eat the fertiliser. So that means, Andrew, that you're going to be able to use a lot less um, inputs for the same level of output from the system. Correct, and it's all, it all drives profitability in the end. In the last three years we've seen our nitrogen cost per hectare reduced by 37%. We've seen our animal health costs reduced by 20%. We've seen our pasture harvest increase by 10% and of course milk production increase by 10% as well. Well basically we've, with, we've achieving more production with uh, less cost and less input. Water use in Canterbury is obviously a hot topic at the moment. What impact has the change in nutrient management uh, practice had on your irrigation efficiency on the farm? What we've found is that we've been able to increase the soil's ability to hold water by, by 5 to 6% which has resulted in less irrigation. We use moisture meters to monitor the soil moisture and soil temperature and it's most beneficial in the shoulders of the season at start up and, and, and closing down. So Andrew, you're obviously quite innovative in the way that you run your farm. How does that extend into the uh, staff management on the property? What we try and do with the staff is provide a positive work environment so that they can learn the skills so they can get ahead in the industry. Our aim is to run a sustainable dairy farm with good production, healthy cows and healthy pastures. Our family is important to us and we want to leave the, the land better than we found it for them.